Hello, my name is J. Isaiah Smith. I'm the composer, lyricist, arranger, and music director for the show you're about to see, What a Kid Did with a Piano, the Music of J. Isaiah Smith. This show is a collection of pieces and songs I wrote within the last three years from various musical concepts, including my most recently completed musical, Kings, Queens, and Unruly Peasants. Two years ago, Omaha Performing Arts launched their first ever open mic night that would feature the likes of many up-and-coming musicians and artists, as well as several already established in the area. The reward of first place being a small sum of money, as well as performing a two-hour set of music at the Holland Center's Happy Hour before a show by Jay Leno. I took one of my favorite songs I had written at the time, titled Child's Play, uh, and signed up for the open mic night. My performance featured the likes of Jordan the Ninja Smith and Mark M. Kurtz on the piano, Child's Play placed first at the open mic night, and a little under a year later I found myself performing what a kid did with a piano at the Holland Center, featuring the same performers mentioned earlier as well as the talented Tiesa Louise Hills. In response to the showing and live performance uh, from the show, um, I began uh, receiving requests for another performance of the show. And so with the help of Brianna Carradine, Scott Vanentop, and the Omaha Community Playhouse, you're about to see what a kid did with the piano's return to the stage for its biggest showing yet, nearly selling out the Howard Drew Theater. I would like to thank my outstanding cast, Scott Vanditop, Brianna Carradine, Mackenzie Zilke, Jordan the Ninja Smith, and Mark M. Kurtz, as well as J. Dominic Green, Omaha Performing Arts, the Omaha Community Playhouse, and Jay Shrigley for recording the show live. Lastly, I want to thank you for tuning in and staying strong during these troubling times. Child's Play. 
and we eventually won and we got to perform at the Holland Center. So that song is going to be for you tonight. And it's Child's Play is a tale of two half brothers who love the same woman and are willing to fight for it. Coming to the stage to play brother number two, please welcome my brother, Jordan Smith. <laughs>
friend. Oh! 
now I can't turn my right back to up with this stance. So what's going on? to the bitter freaking end because that's what a man does to his freaking friends. So I call up Bob, Jeff, and Andre and Fred. So my wife kind of pissed about his friends and friends. And to my surprise, they picked up the doubt. He said, I can't talk now in the doghouse. <laughs> Thank you. 
Don't assume I want to leave you That's not what I want <coughs> You could be my bride And stand by my side Wouldn't you just die to see what lies in store for me? And she says no, <laughs> cause I already know. Like every other man, I bet that sword and shield's a hoax. Don't you ever come back to my brothel anymore? <laughs> You don't need me. You can blow yourself. <laughs> Beat it. You've got places to go. On Route 82, in Arkansas, there was a town called Boardville, with a B-O-R-D. -E. Uh, it has a lake full of smiling people who love their town and their lake, and everything about their lives. Except one girl. Her name is Sharita. And she wants to be an author of adventure books. But she's never known adventure. Playing happy people, please welcome back Scott Vanatop, myself, Mackenzie Damer, and doubling as happy woman one and the adventurous Sharita, please welcome the phenomenal Brianna Carradine. <laughs> Yes, our time. 
Singing the Retort to Their Son, please welcome back Bri Brianna Caradai as Queen Ellie alongside myself as King Hank.
that stupid prince, oh my. No, I cannot find. No, he cannot find. A stupid, stupid prince, oh my. The queen thinks he's dead. Queen thinks he's dead. But if I change me or not, she will have my head. She will have my head.
You've been used, and now I've done all I can with you. Yes, that's it, Mr. Hank. You're washed up, back my crown. Oh, how predictable that you were going down. And when they tell your tale to their daughters and sons, they'll know that you were touched down by the baddest woman in hysteria. <laughs> Ever seen 
by far And you and your friends You live in that bar And then suddenly you're pulled out that bar By a man who hates you Who hates himself and hates me And all he does is for that stupid queen
Charlie Sheen's Squids and Unlucky Bessons. Um, now it's time for some fun standalone songs. <laughs> Uh, have you ever been on a date and you just felt like there was this tension between the two of you to kiss? Well, I have, and I wrote a song about it. <laughs> Oh, no. 
turn cane and sheets and braids from both ends earth. My oldest son's not nearly ten. I don't know these men. And in tears to walk away, but the oldest son's sleep. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
So let's not breathe 
since we first met way back in scene five. Scene five. <laughs> You've been writing for me singing from the king and my dad and mom. It's been chill, it's been fun since the show runs begun. And I've got to say, there's not a thing I wouldn't do. Just one step at a time You do the same as 